artist friends. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Today I have an interesting project I wanted to share with you. I'm going to use two reference photos to paint this scene of a bluebird sitting in the missing window pane. <clears throat> This is the free reference photo I used from Paint My Photo Group on the website for this painting. And this is the bluebird, it's a mountain bluebird that I have referenced from Al Dankin. So, Please join me in this episode as I show you how to paint the bluebird in the missing window pane. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Today I'm using UART sanded paper for this demonstration. I have an 8x10 window here uh, for completing this painting. I've zoomed up on the window reference that I'm using uh, because this is a small painting and I want to capture the bluebird on a larger scale for this painting. I've already outlined my window frame and I'm going to complete the left side of the window that features the textured glass. For my first layer I used a very dark gray for the background of the window and I'm using also a terracotta color for the light reflection in the window. I really don't know what the object is that is reflecting in the background, but I'm going to uh, render it with some lighter shades of gray over it and begin creating the texture in the window. I am using a light shade of gray uh, using my pastel pencils to create the texture <clears throat> and then I'm going back and using a darker shade to give it some shading uh, to create the uh, embossed uh, texture of the window. I am going in with my black pastel pencil to define the texture a little bit more. So this has been fun so far trying to create the texture. The texture is more prominent over the area where it's lighter so I have to keep going in and shading a darker shade along the embossed areas. So what I want to do now is work on the part of the window where there is some buildup of some lime uh, and old paint uh, um, appearing along the bottom and the top of the windows. I'm going to start using a very light green to create some of that buildup on the window pane and then I'll switch to my light cream color to give it a appearance of paint on the old window. Now I would like to finish the frame around the old window and I want to try to match the color of the wood and the grain in the old wood uh, before I finish the window pane. The frame of the windows 
has a lot of old peeling paint that I want to try and create that uh, effect of the paint peeling from the frame. I am using my ruler to ensure that my uh, lines and guidelines are straight and square so that the proportions uh, look proper. Now that I have the window frame uh, blocked in, I need to position where the bluebird is going to be sitting on the window frame. Once I have placed the outline of my bird, I will be able to darken in the background around the bird in the area where there is no window. I will start with a light gray uh, to the background of the window and this will be my first layer that I will blend with a sponge applicator. Because this area is very dark, I will use uh, black pastel to create another layer over this to also blend to create a very dark window, uh, not a window pane, but an empty window pane. Once I fill in this layer of black, I will use my sponge applicator again to blend it into the background. I will also use my fingers to do a little blending in this area because I want the black color to be pushed uh, more firmly into the grain of the paper. That way it doesn't create as much black pastel dust. I'm going to draw the outlines of the areas where the paint is peeling and the wood is exposed uh, next to it. I am ready to begin developing the bluebird. I will begin with a light turquoise and light blue to create a base layer for the bird's body. I will zoom up a little bit closer so that you're able to watch the process more closely. The bluebird has a beautiful range of blue colors in its feathers, from the lightest turquoise to the darkest ultramarine blue. I have also popped up a photo of the bird I am referencing in the top right corner window so that you're able to follow along a little more closely with the painting. I am using a paper blending stump to blend the areas that are very small in the bird. I will continue to work from the lightest shades in the bird's body and gradually add darker uh, tones and values found within the bird's feathers. So please follow along as I continue to layer more colors and begin to add some of the details to the bird's body.
So now I'm going to begin using the ultramarine blue and dark navy to develop the shadows and darker values beneath the feathers. There is a very dark shadow beneath the wings of the bird uh, in the belly area that I want to darken and shade accordingly. As I add more color depth to his body, you can begin to see his form and contours develop. And that original flat appearance is becoming full and more lifelike. I am going to define the legs and feet of the bird uh, a little bit more and then I will continue working on the windowsill. Most of the details are complete in the blue bird, but I will come back to it and add some final highlights and feather details as this painting comes to an end. I would like to complete the paint peeling off the windowsill. I need to add some white highlights to the edge of the peeling paint to create a realistic uh, appearance of the paint peeling down. Then I will add a dark line along the white edge to create a shadow being cast uh, on the edge of the peeling paint. I will go back and add a few details to the painting, but this painting is now complete. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration on painting a bluebird in the window. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notifications of all my new lessons and tutorials. Thank you very much.